Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken, of course. Okay, our president is getting ready to attack Syria. Of course, we have no support from anyone else in the world, and they're talking about what? Making him a world, do they say the C word as a criminal? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Fine. I know, but I didn't get the second hamburger. I just had to settle for a second fresh rice. <laughs> bigger, bigger, more fresh rice. Could have got more time. hamburgers. Yeah. And, oh, let's see what we're saying about the, the president. Oh, God, he's, he's the, everybody in the un, known universe said he is preparing to do something very stupid. He's either going to attack too late or too hard. There is no middle ground. And then these one guy, like they're all saying, what made the, a, the kids that were killed before out of the 100,000 that were killed in the Civil War any different than the 400 kids that were killed by the gas attack, other than the fact that he drew a line in the sand, and now, oh, what did Herbie Daddy say? If you don't support this president, you're racist. You're, doing, you're not supporting him because he's black. Even though he said it's an impeachable offense to do this, Kerry said it's an impeachable offense to do this, Pelosi said it's an impeachable offense to do this, Biden said it's an impeachable offense to do it, other than, you know, virtually everybody else in Congress wants, okay, what happens is when he does it and if something goes wrong, his ass is out the door the next day. They're going to throw him out because I believe it when the Russians say they're going to respond. If you attack them, we're going to consider it an act of a, a war and we're going to respond in kind. And they don't have to do it themselves. All they got to do is supply all the equipment the Syrians need. We, we have... Five destroyers that have no defense against Exocet missiles because the Gatling gun they use to shoot missiles cannot be traversed low enough to shoot a missile that basically hovers over the top of the ocean. Oh, God. It covers right at water level. It hits you below the water level when it comes in. Oh, it does? Yeah, so it will take out. The Exocet is, is a really mean and nasty weapon, and it's never failed. Hmm. And who has the best air defense in the world? The Iraq, the Assyrians, folks, because the Russians and the Chinese have built it for them. Basically, we basically uh, charge the Israelis, which means the Israelis don't have the best system that they can get. They got what they can afford. But Syria, okay, here's the thing is, he who controls the border, the port of Damascus controls the gateway to the Middle East. It is not the Suez Canal. That is a passageway through the Middle East. The port of Damascus is where things come and go. That's where oil comes and goes. That's where trade comes and goes. And Assad controls Damascus, and he's not likely to give it up. Uh, and it's all over for the Republicans. Uh, you listen to it. I mean, I listen to this guy. Uh, they asked for this senator, did you or did you not pledge to either repeal or replace Obamacare, and are you now going to vote to fund them? Well, we can't let the president carry out his action because they'll blame us. Oh, Herbie Daddy said, um, who gives a rat's ass what somebody in Washington, D.C. says about you when your constituency is too can carry New Mexico? Mm -hmm. And Obama to ignore the Constitution and attack on his own. Well, they, that's right. He basically, they said this man has total contempt for the Constitution. He basically has done nothing but bitch about both Bushes. Oh, here's a good one. Both Bushes basically have said he's getting ready to make a mistake. Oh. Jimmy Carter condemned him this morning, and, uh, and, uh, and Clinton is basically having nothing to say about it, which means he is totally out on a limb. And they've already said, well, we fully expect the consequence may be a loss of significance of our part in the world, but we have to do what's right. And then they say, what about the people that were killed before? Well, the president did this this time, and he did this for two years. It took two years before he could make up his mind. To, well, he's not a very fast man. Oh, here's a good one. Um, they said the, um, the reason why, Jay Zanel said last night, the reason why he took so long with his line in the sand was because his line in the sand originally started out here, then here, then here, then here, then here, and then when he got up against the wall, he couldn't go any farther. Mm -hmm. And top labor unions aim to topple six GOP governors and payback or big risk. <laughs> they said it's a, they, they, they haven't been able to top, topple one yet. The, the, okay, generally, if you're a GOP governor, you're in a red state, and they don't like unions. Mm -hmm. And the unions are going to spend hundreds of millions of dollars to turn these states... I mean, okay, what did they do yesterday that went totally nowhere? 
Right. We're going to shut down this country to teach these people that we have to have a living wage. And then when, here's what happened, what, what did they say? Well, it's going to cost 13 million jobs if they get their way. Mm -hmm. 13 million jobs? Well, they couldn't do that. Well, uh, most of the people yesterday that participated in the things all got fired. And stats show Americans, oh, we already did that, not into driving anymore. Yeah, that's just the way that works. Yeah, and U.S. allows states, yeah, but they're into driving. It depends on the public transportation. Oh, area. I know. It, it, it's, um, here's the trick is, if you can't afford the gas, you don't go anywhere. And the president doesn't understand they can't afford the gas, they can't afford his green vehicles. Oh, we were building a brand new fusion factory to build turnout Ford Fusions that are hybrid cars that no one in the United States wants to buy. But we got $25 billion from the president of the United States to build hybrid cars. And since they don't cost us anything and everybody thinks they're a pile of crap, we don't care because the president gave us money to pay for it. And the U.S. allows states to legalize recreational marijuana within limits. Oh, within limits. What well, you can't, you can't black, you can't sell the stuff on the black market, which will be cheaper than on the regular market. You can't let kids have it, which everybody knows they're going to get, and you can't use it in your federal property. Uh, what it means is um, the president of the United States, noted drug dealer when he was younger, basically thinks that we can tax marijuana. Oh, oh, Irby Daddy says what happens? When you put taxes on all this stuff, they'll go underground and buy it where it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. You're not going to stop it. Always do. I mean, has any country in the world that legalized drugs profited from legalizing drugs? No. What have they done? They've created a bigger drug society, and that cost more money. And low turnout at Egypt's protests highlights Islamist disarray. Well, the reason why the Egyptian Brotherhood exists is because they've been hiding for 50 years. And when they come out, they told everybody who they were. Oh, what's that camera over there looking at me? What's that camera over there looking at me? What's that camera there? Oh, you followed me home? Boom! Yeah, the, the Egyptian Brotherhood is basically uh, sort of fading into the background now in, in Egypt because they know who they are and where they live at. Oh. And what happens to, I like the neat thing about foreign countries is that if they can't get you, they just kill all your family members. Mm -hmm. And then they figure, okay, how do you stop a Muslim from getting any worse? You make certain that he has no one to follow behind him. That is the worst thing. They leave his daughters and get rid of the sons because mm -hmm. it's the biggest punishment you can do to a Muslim male. Oh, it's to get rid of the they, sons. They execute the sons and leave the daughters. They also destroy the properties. Ooh, and stats now show that liberals are smarter than conservatives and more willing to listen to both sides of issues. Uh, that they said that was done by a, a liberal college professor that made those statements. He also did the same statements that atheists are more likely to believe in God than Christians because Christians only give lip service where atheists basically they they do everything analytically and they know there's a greater there's a greater purpose and we're more likely and that's why we t that why well, atheists always tend to be liberal and therefore we are smarter than conservatives who believe in something that they can't define. And Egypt to clamp down on Al Jazeera's Egyptian channel. Yeah, as they're basically saying, well, Al Jazeera is growing in popularity since they bought Current TV. No, they're not. Basically, what they did, if they added 10 more viewers than they had before, that's a uptick. They said they're, well, we're growing substantially. No. The, uh, here, here, Al Jazeera is funded by the oh, Muslim Brotherhood. Isn't that amazing? And if you're a Republican and refuse to say you're a racist, then you are a racist. I heard that one. They, they're really getting that one yesterday. That according to Chris Matthews, all Republicans are racist. There are just some people like the Tea Party that will admit it, and they're trying to find out. I mean, like I said yesterday, a guy, uh, one of the, I think, one of the billionaire Republicans tossed a blank check on a table. Fill it in for anyone, any amount that you want, if you can find me a... Tea Party member that oh, that says they're racist. Mm -hmm. They aren't any. And Obama weighs which Democrats to help and keep races. No, it's which Democrats will even allow him in the area. They want nothing to do with this man. They will not appear on the same state. If he comes in, you find no Democrats. I mean, he wouldn't go work. Okay, he basically avoided Cory Booker, who's running for the Senate and now having a problem, which he didn't think before. Uh oh. Were they talking, that was the was the Democratic person that's running against the primary saying there's a problem with Cory Booker and, and 
his sexuality and who he tends to like a lot, and liking a lot isn't grown people. Mm. And a Monty bubble isn't from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. I know this one from Monty is real good. That when you're elected to Congress or the Senate, you're elected to represent your district or your state, not somebody else's. 